Caitlin Brenna. Hey, congratulations on the centers. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, so let's start off with the easy question. Why did you two want to do, you know, be a part of this uh, exciting project? Um, I think that it's really fun. It has that uh, cult classic teenage type movie, um, similar to Jawbreaker, um, Pretty Little Liars, Riverdale. It has that uh, vibe to it. So um, yeah, I, I, I love growing up. I watched a ton of those um, films like Heather's, Mean Girls, all of that stuff. So I love that it had that kind of feel to it, but also had that horror um, slash thriller aspect added on top. Terrific. What about you, Brenna? Yeah, similar to me, I, I love like the cult classic feel when I read the script, and then especially just this character, Aubrey's character. Um, I grew up in a religious household, so it was kind of fun for me to get to bring in some stuff from my childhood for the character, and then the there's a twist with the character that is just when I read that like that paragraph in the sides when I was first taping for it, I was I was in love. I was like, yes, give me give me all this power. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> this this film does actually have fo um, a lot of a lot of twists and turns um, to it because it could easily turn supernatural or a slasher flick and all this kind of stuff. What did you think about um, where this movie actually takes the story? I think it's really cool. Um, I I love all of the twists and turns, especially at the end with Brenna's character. Um, there's a lot of layers to it that I think are really, really interesting. I mean, Grace's character is almost like the epitome of teenage emotions and rebellion, and she's dealing with a lot of stuff from trying to figure out her sexuality to heartbreak to rebelling against her strict Christian family. Um, so I think that... Yeah, the film sheds light on a lot uh, on various issues that I think are are really important to shed light on. Um, and yeah, yeah, it was really nice to see like Grace, like Caitlin, your character Grace, um, is like the you know your typical popular mean girl, but seeing like her family life, her home life, and how you know she like how she came to be who she is, and that kind of sadness. It was just it's really nice um, to see in that kind of film because you don't often get to see mm -hmm. that with your character. The the one the one thing that I actually noticed for both of your characters was uh um you know obviously there's a lot of mystery to actually go going on and kidnapping and 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 stuff. What was it difficult to be how can you say tied up or tied down <laughs> during the course of a you know the production of 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 this film? Are we talking like literally as in like, yeah. you know, the, like a rope? Like the yeah, rope? literally with oh, the ropes, yes. It was, it was super safe. We had an amazing, um, our stunt coordinated guy who did all, all the ropes tying and stuff. And he made us very aware of how they were being tied, how how easy we can get out of it, making sure it wasn't too tight, making sure we were comfortable. Um, and, you know, having that, it always makes it more real, which it always, you know, makes it easier to slip into the character when you, you know, you can't move your hands and people are shoving you into a trunk, so. Yeah, I can definitely agree with Brenna on that. Um, when you actually have something binding you um, and you can't like move your hands, you can't do anything with it, um, it really adds to your performance because you, you actually do have that real resistance where you can't get out of, well, you, you, you I mean, you can, but um, in the scene, you feel the rope around your, your hands. And so it adds a, another layer of intensity as an actor to play around with. In, in a film like this, is it easy to act being scared or, the, or, the, or like Courtney Page as a director has to create that sort of like that uh, environment for you? I mean, I've done uh, uh, quite a few horrors and thrillers, and um, I love, as an actor, being scared. Um, I don't like being scared when I watch um, horror films. It's funny because I tend to be cast in a, a lot of horror and thrillers, but um, I don't watch a lot of horror movies because I, I don't like that like fear, adrenaline rush aspect. Um, but I think that Courtney is very much an, an actor's director. She um, has an acting background herself. So she's really, really good at communicating with actors and kind of explaining um, how she wants the scene to pan out and um, giving little tidbits here and here and there to help our performances. Um, because I think like 
so often, especially with horrors, like you, there, you have such long days and such emotionally draining scenes that um, it gets to a certain point at the end of the day when you're just so, so drained and you don't necessarily know, like you, your gauge is kind of a little off because you don't necessarily know whether or not your performance is like where you want it to be. So I think having a director who um, can guide you and um, give you some advice or give you and explain to you um, what you're doing right and what you're what you can be working on towards in the scene is really helpful um, and I think yeah because she has that acting background she's definitely um, really really good with that and yeah it was it, it's good though I don't know if that answered your question <laughs> no it, it totally did okay I awesome <laughs> excellent excellent um, one, one of the things that uh that I, I do I do actually find is uh, you know to to some to a lot of teenage girls they would find this film quite relatable sort of like mm -hmm. in the rebellious way. Um, mm -hmm. I know uh, Brenda kind of touched upon the fact that she came from a religious uh, um, family, but are are you two quite when you grew up were you like rebellious teenagers? You wanted to rebel against uh, family or anything like that too? Definitely. Think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like there is. I know. A couple times in high school where I, I did have a curfew, but I knew that my parents also went to bed a little bit early. And if I just, if they trusted that I would come home by that time, I could slip in the side door very quietly a couple hours after. They don't know that yet, so hopefully they won't watch this. But um, yeah, definitely the rebellious nature is something I could relate to. <laughs> it, it's funny because I... Um... I wanted to be rebellious, but I was too scared to do it. I'm just like a scaredy cat. Um, so I wanted to, yeah, I, I would watch like shows and see my friends sneaking out and I wanted to do that, but I was too afraid of my parents finding out or um, whatever. So yeah, I would say I wanted to, but I didn't. And, and Caitlin, your character ex explore LGBTQ uh, themes. What, what did you think about the, that um, for the, for this film? Yeah, I think that it's it's awesome because we're seeing more and more films that um, include characters who are part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, so I think especially it's interesting because in the context of Christianity, that isn't necessarily very accepted in a lot of Christian communities. So um, to also shed light on, on that aspect um, was, yeah, re really neat that um, we had we had that aspect in the film. Mm -hmm. I still think it's a really important message that needs to be put out there because I know mm -hmm. I, I have people in my family life who would shun someone for their sexuality and it's to me it's just unacceptable in 2021 like yeah. if it doesn't hurt you or affect you in any way it's, it's love baby like, <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Absolutely true and and Brenna one of the things that uh, you know it's kind of revealed in the trailer that the mystery surrounds your character <laughs> But uh, but obviously you did a, you did quite some narration um, throughout the entire film. Did that make your job easier? Um, you know because of the fact that you did did a lot of voiceover. Definitely, and I mean reading the, all the voiceover at first was a blessing because it gave me so much more insight into who Aubrey is as a person, which always you know makes decisions easier. And then recording the voiceovers narration itself was was nice because you could play around with it so much and there's such a safety net with like an ADR studio than there is being on camera where you have, okay, only three takes to get this shot. You have, your motion has to be there. Whereas with narration, you can, yeah, play around with it, so. Excellent, well, let, let me wrap it up with one, one quick question then. Obviously the movie, The Sinners is about, you know, girls relating to each of the deadly sins. Which deadly sin are you most related to? <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit of all sins, I'd say. Uh, definitely gluttony is my number one. I love donuts and ice cream. I can eat a whole liter and a half of, of cookie ice cream, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, yeah, I guess similar to Brenna, I love food, I love ice cream, I love sweets, so probably gluttony as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely have like bits and pieces of different sins. <laughs> um, so yeah. Excellent. Well, hey, Caitlin and Brenna, thank you very much uh, for speaking with us. And thank you for uh, starring in the, in the film, The Sinners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.